Welcome back to the build, everybody. It's going to be an exciting day. Today, we're going to be working on the front spar of the horizontal stabilizer. Also, I placed a call today to find myself a hanger, as I do find that the garage is a little bit limited in space because it's not a true full one car garage. Uh, it's just a shed that you'd normally use to park, say, like a golf cart in. So I got a call back from Mountain Bay Air Park, which I'll be moving into shortly. Uh, and that's going to be fairly exciting to have a little bit more room to operate. So what I'm doing here is getting the spar doubler separated on the bandsaw and then taking down some of the harsh edges that I just made uh, with the bandsaw on those doublers with the scotch bright wheel. Here I'm trying to align all the parts for the horizontal stabilizer front spar, reading the directions and the, learning the placements of all these parts and clicking them into place. There's going to be a lot of direction reading in this video as the directions are starting to get a little bit more complicated and these doublers that came with the kit are a add-on. They weren't part of the original build plans. They came out as an airworthiness directive uh, for safety reasons. They, they were starting to get cracks in these spars, so they decided to strengthen them up a little bit, beef them up with those doublers. And that's why I'm reading the instructions a lot, is because they did an okay job with the instructions. But it, again, it wasn't part of the original build, so they had to insert these instructions. And some of the some of the big drawings that you would normally use to get a big picture idea of what you're doing for the day doesn't quite show what you're supposed to be doing with these uh, doublers. It's not exact match uh, to to what the to what you're supposed to be doing. So it's it's interpolating a lot of what the instructions are saying. Uh, via reading the book and then looking at the picture and then reading the book again to kind of gain an idea. Here I'm drilling out a lot of these holes uh, on this doubler and there's a lot of extra holes that were not originally in these spars but are on these doublers so I definitely had to make sure and, and double check that I'm supposed to be drilling out all these extra holes uh, through all the parts so that took a little bit of time but definitely double make sure you double check the instructions before you drill any holes but yes you were supposed to drill all those holes out uh, that were inside that doubler through the, the spar and that reinforced aluminum angle. Here I'm measuring out the aluminum angle to, to cut it down. You can definitely get by cutting this aluminum angle and those uh, spar doublers by using an angle grinder, but I uh, prefer to get the better precision with the bandsaw. And the bandsaw, I'm just using the regular stock blade on it. Uh, I'm going to take down the stock blade and hopefully put a, an aluminum cutting blade on it shortly. Uh, that way it, it leaves a little bit less burrs and the, the cuts are a little bit cleaner uh, because the, the stock blade on the bandsaw that comes with the bandsaw leaves a little bit harsh of an edge and it takes a little bit longer to take them down on the grinding wheel as you see me doing here. One thing I also noticed while doing these uh, aluminum angle parts is start by taking a little bit at a time. They give you precise measurements and you can measure it out, but I would stay on the fatter side and then just take, take the excess down with the grinding wheel because you do not want to take too much metal off and I could see how it could be very easy to do if you slip your hand a little bit on the on the bandsaw or if you're using an angle grinder. 
you definitely want to start wide and then if you need to you can take it down with the the scotch bright wheel on the grinding wheel as you can see here i'm clicking everything back together and it's a whole bunch of put together take apart put together take apart i can't even count how many times i've taken this piece together put to, put it together and then taking it apart. It's kind of exciting because you get to see it come together, but when you have to take it apart, it's a little bit depressing. Here we're bending those aluminum angle parts and I'm just using the doubler as a template uh, to see how far I need to bend them and then just using a uh, soft dead blow mallet to bend them into the proper positions. Sure hope you guys enjoy this whole build process. I enjoy sharing it with you guys. And if you like what I'm doing on this channel, smash that like button. And if you want to get notified of videos coming out in the future, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. Again, if I can do it, you can do it. Build your airplane, share your experiences, realize that dream of flying, and let's do it all together.